Hey, 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 folks, welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Martina, and for my regular viewers, welcome back. So, today is a little chit chat today, right? I'm in my car, I'm comfortable, AC is running, so I could talk for a little while. All right, so I first, first, before I do anything else, I want to talk about just a shout out to one of my um, Patreon supporters. His name is John Matson. Very, very supportive. Um, he has been supporting me for a while now through my Patreon account. I am so appreciative of him. Thank you so much, John, for your support. He um, he likes to check out different um, recipe channels, and he tries them for tries his recipes for himself. And you know, his person he took he takes pictures, and his presentation is so awesome you know and I wish you could cook for me one day <laughs> John thank you so much for your support I appreciate you so so much and for anybody who's interested who want, would like to support me this way I'll leave a link for my patreon account in the description box below another shout out to um, another one of my supporters he has a YouTube channel his, his um, the name of the channel is um, carry on Jeff and John right um, John he's um, we always communicate um, via comments and stuff right um his he has a recipe channel and ch um, he has he shared recipes that i'm not really familiar with but he's very very interesting his presentation is awesome and he uses ingredients everyday ingredients that you know that i myself could find even though in tortola here i could find these ingredients and make his recipes and his presentations are very very good very very easy and different but also very interesting that you will want to try so i'll leave a link for his channel in the description box below all right, so that's all the goody part out of the way. So today, something happened yesterday that I thought I would talk about it today. Again, it's like a little chit chat. Now, you guys know I live in Tortola, British Virgin Islands. I love living here. It reminds me so much from, of Tobago. Uh, even though I haven't been there so many years, they may, that may have changed too as well. Anywho, so um, one of the reasons I love living in the B BVI is that because I feel safe, right? Um, I, I have... I, Previous years ago, I used to get up very, very early and go and walk. Like, I used to leave home maybe about four, half past four, and it's dark, and I felt safe, right, doing that, right? And I felt safe. I feel safe. There was many, to tell you the extent that I feel safe, um, there was on two occasions, is that this was a while ago. I left my wallet in the grocery store, and um, the first time I went, um, I got back the wallet, bottom line. Make the story short, I got back that wallet, right? With everything intact. It happened. The second time it happened to me, I got back my wallet safe, you know. So I feel safe. Now I'm not gonna say there's no crime in the BVI. There is, but you know, it's on the minimal side, right? Generally I feel safe in the BVI. So something happened yesterday, like I said before, it's uh, my husband and I we were going into town and I noticed a gas station was closed. I said, sweetie, I saw I called my husband. I said, sweetie, you know that gas station is closed. I was really odd, you know? So first of all, I said, you know, maybe somebody died, but normally here around this area, if somebody dies, they'll put a big purple ribbon on the gate or the door. So you know somebody died. But on yesterday, there was no ribbon on the, on the door. So what I did was, um, uh, I came when I came back home. I played Nancy Drew on Facebook. So I, I asked, you know, I left a post up, you know, um, does anybody know why the gas station is closed? And I found out yesterday was Monday. Apparently, on Sunday, they had a robbery, right? And um, the story goes like this is apparently the person, the owner of the place, they took home the, the earnings for that day, took the, the, the um, earnings home, and some robbers apparently they followed her and try to ambush her for, for the money at her house, right? She threw the money at them and um, apparently she called out for her mother. The mother came came out to look to see what's happening and apparently when the mother did that, she was shot a few times very, very well. So when I first found out this message, I heard that she, that, that was happened and um, she was in the hospital, you know, critical. And then I found out later on, the lady died. And this lady now, my, my brother-in-law, he knows her very well. So it was kind of close to home. But with all of this, you know, I'm thinking, why would this daughter take the money home? You don't do that. You know, but apparently somebody may have known her routine that she takes the money home. And they, you know, they, they, they will know that. You know how these things work. These people, they monitor your actions and stuff. So they knew she takes the, takes, takes the money home and they follow her that day and say, okay, this is, this is the time to ambush her. 
you know that kind of way so it's sad but you don't take your, your money home you don't take your money home a business person you go to your you night deposit and deposit the money home even th even though sometimes it might ambush you at the bank and stuff anyway you know so lady died because she died that was yesterday was money so she the robbery happened happened on sunday and she died um yesterday monday and that was yeah this yesterday and um uh, let's say about a month or two ago a month and a half ago we had like um a real gangster style shooting um in the fish bay area you know and this guy was driving and apparently somebody passed and they shot at him you know and i guess the aim was this man must die this man must die um we saw the vehicle everybody was taking pictures and starting to share on it and stuff so the pictures that i saw you saw like bullet holes in the windshield and through the door and they even had pictures of the guy you know people like to share everything you know the guy died and a real gangster style action you know so it had me thinking you know what's going on in my beautiful bvi in my beautiful paradise and what's going on you know again i know there's crime i've heard about a few crimes but it's getting like you know i don't know but you know i'm still grateful i'm still grateful to be here and you know just concerned not to scare anybody who wish to who see this video and want to come to the bvi but you know i just want to share with you i just want to get it out there you know that you know what's happening to my bvi my beautiful bvi but i don't know yeah just want to talk about that today what i want to talk about again today before i forget yeah I won't keep you any longer. Just want to do a little chit chat and do a shout out to my friend, um, Carrie and Jeff and John, and to my other friend, my other supporter, um, John Madison. Okay, guys, if you oh, before I go, my last video that I published, um, today is Tuesday, Tuesday. I can't remember the date, I'll put it down in the bottom part of the screen where I did the challenge with the um, uh, spicy noodles. I'm realizing now there's other type of the spicy noodles that's really really spicy but like I mentioned in that video this is what I found here in BVI. I I did a search I asked on Facebook if anybody could tell me where I could find um, this sort of a spicy noodle and they directed me to a place where I got one but apparently it's not what has what everybody else is eating in their spicy noodles channels and stuff and stuff so and i'm not going to go out go to the actual effort of say i'm going to audit online no i'm not going to do that so maybe one day i might get one and try it again so somebody down the line if i do get a pack of really spicy noodles i'll do i do another video of spicy noodle challenge <laughs> all right guys have a great day oh i know i have something else to say I'm gonna get some coffee now. I'm again. I'm at Beef Island. I have a client. I do some bookkeeping now for a few people. I'm grateful for my clients. So I, you know, of course they support me. I'm gonna support her. So I'm here in Beef Island. I'm so I'm gonna get some coffee and maybe if she has sandwiches or whatever, I have a light nice snack. So I'm gonna take some a little video shot so you can see what the place looks like and yeah. So I'm going to end my video now before I show you that footage. If you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up button, leave a comment for me, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button. In doing so, you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Hold on. Don't forget to hold on to watch my little footage of this um, coffee shop. There's um, Loose Mongoose Coffee Shop and there's Loose Mongoose Restaurant in the same area, same building.